Hello and thank you for joining us. In this presentation, we'll discuss about Infotrain solution for backup. Backup, in a storage point of view, is not as simple as copy and paste. To start with, let's ask the definition of backup and the related terms such as RTO, RPO, and backup tiers. We'll then introduce backup solution of Infotrain and the recommended solution for certain applications like database, virtualization, and more. For the last part, we will summarize the benefits of Infotrain backup solution. In this chapter, we will discuss the definition of backup and how an administrator can evaluate by the indicators to create the suitable backup plan for IT environment. The definition of the backup is copy the data from the production site so that the data can be restored in the event of data loss. Its purpose is to ensure the business continuity as some of the data must not be missing or lost. Like your bank account transaction record, if a financial institution lost their data due to ransomware in their data center, storage failure, human cause events, or physical disaster, having a backup for your data is extremely important. So how does an administrator create backup plans for different IP environments? There are two indicators for reference. One is RTO, recovery time objective, and the other is RPO, recovery point objective. Let's take a look at the picture and have a clear understanding what do RTO and RPO mean. The black horizontal arrow represents the time axis. Let's say, at a certain point of the time, the IT environment has failed due to the reason we mentioned in the previous page. RTO in context means how long does the disaster recovery process take? The IT environment is unavailable during this process, so how long can the end user accept this? And as for the RPO, it addresses how far was the last backup point if the last backup point was very close to the time when the disaster happened. There is no much data that the end user may lose. But if the last value backup was a week ago, will the end user accept it? Ideally, RPO and RTO are zero, which means that when a disaster happens, it takes zero seconds for the disaster recovery process, and there's no data loss because the last value backup was zero seconds ago. However, in reality, there's no way to achieve zero second RTO and RPO. The shorter RPO and RTO IT environment is required, the higher the cost may incur. Because of this, administrators choose not the shortest RTO and RPO, but a suitable backup solution for each type of the business. Take a look at the table below. The left column contains the applications, while the right column contains the tiers and the application they supported. Usually for the enterprise customer's database system like financial institution, they need the tier 1 RTO and RPO backup solution, meaning the required RTO and RPO are shorter than 15 minutes or even shorter than 1 minute. Another example is the government institution surveillance application. The record video must be there no matter what kind of the disaster happened, so it needs tier 1 RTO and RPO backup solution as well. The rest of the application are actually based on the customer's requirement. They consider using tier 2 or tier 3 RTO and RPO backup solutions due to the budget constraint. Besides the RTO and RPO evaluation indicators, there are a few more questions that we must consider, such as how many copies of data should I keep and where should I back up the data? There is a backup guideline called 321 Backup Architecture. It indicates that for a complete backup plan, the IT environment must have three different copies of data within two different storage media, and one of which is safe at the offsite. Take a look at this sample of 321 backup architecture. An IT environment has three different copies of data based on replication, snapshot, and cloud backup. These copies are stored in two different storage media. For example, one is physical storage enclosure, another one is virtual storage like cloud, and another type of the storage media, which can be a tape. Finally, one of these copies must be kept in the offsite like branch office, remote site, or cloud provider. 
For this chapter, we introduce the InfoTrain storage solution for backup application, including third-party software integration, InfoTrain storage data service, and the type of RPO and RTO tier this solution can support. The first backup solution is the backup software integration. The worldwide leading backup software vendors, Vim, Veritas, and Convolt, these are the experts in the enterprise backup solution, especially on the database and the virtualization application. This application backup software has four major advantages. First is backup consistency. In a technical point of view, the database and the virtualization structures are relational nowadays, which means each data is not independent but re relevant with each other. If the backup procedure takes place wrongly, it might cause the whole system to crash. For this dilemma, the backup software solved this problem, and thanks to the backup software data service and fine-tuned backup performance, it also meets Tier 1 RPO and RPO mission critical solution, plus the backup loading reduction solution for database or host servers. Also, the backup software provides a very convenient backup features called VM Instant Recovery. This helps recovery your data and mount all backup virtual machines very quickly. For us at InfoTrain, as a storage vendor, we ensure that InfoTrain storage solutions are compatible and pass the certification as proof that our solutions are recommended to use because of inclusion of backup software tier 1, RTO, and RPO backup solution. The example in here shows that we recently passed the certification to its latest version of Vim backup software, Backup and Replication 9.5. Aside from the third-party backup software, InfoTrain Storage also supports various backup data services. Let's take a look at this slide. Starting from local replication solution, this means the backup data is saved in the same storage enclosure. The first service is Snapshot. It's an instantaneous point-in-time copy of data that look and behave like complete backups. Since it's not actually a full backup, the Snapshot backup can save a lot of capacity and it also supports the schedule setting feature. So when the data has been accidentally deleted in a certain volume, a simple click of the snapshot image rollback button brings back the lost data. But when a disaster happens, there's no automatic rollback solution. Also, the storage system has the maximum schedule snapshot an administrator can take. Strictly speaking, snapshot feature is only supported in Tier 2 level RPO and RTO solution. Another data service is local replication, which allows creation of full data copies within a single storage system in synchronous or asynchronous mode between two volumes. It prevents the volume corruption due to multiple disk failure, and with synchronous mode, the data is instantly backup from source to target volume it can meet up the Tier 1 RPO and RTO solution. InfoTrain Storage also supports remote backup solution. This backup solution allows the users to save the backup data in a different storage enclosure. This prevents system failures on local site storage. The first service of remote backup is remote replication. It's the volume-based replication that created four data copies across storage system in synchronous or asynchronous mode via block-level protocols like iSCSI or Fiber Channel. With synchronous mode plus auto-long mapping feature, the lunt in the remote site storage is automatically mapped to the whole server when the local site storage is failed. This allows the storage to achieve Tier 1 RTO-RPO backup solution However, since this remote replication feature requires a license, customers must fill in a remote replication application form when purchasing and has to provide to the topology, backup plan, host interface, size of the daily backup data, and more information to our pre-sales team to evaluate, ensuring that the required topology and backup plan is available. The second service is our thing. It's a simple and a folder-based remote replication via a file-label protocol. 
thought, since our thing doesn't have the synchronous mode, and if the local side storage fails, there's no automatic share folder mounting service, so our thing can only support a tier two RTO and RPO backup solution. Besides the local and remote backup solution, Infotrain storage is also a gateway storage between the host client and the cloud provider. Before we introduce the type of a cloud backup that Infotrain can provide, let's discuss the reason we chose the cloud as the backup target. Clouds has several advantages. First, it adopts the pay-as-you-grow policy. This means that a cloud provider charges two-factor per period, the total capacity you've utilized on the cloud and the total throughput you've used for upload and download of the files. There's no need for an additional budget a customer need to pay. Second, it's a convenient way to deploy. Users just need to log in the public cloud provider account so they can throw the backup data to the cloud. Last but not the least, is the best consideration for backup since your data won't be affected by any physical disaster. Though it is wonderful and convenient for cloud backup, there are still setbacks. First is the bandwidth problem. Because it's a public cloud provider, the only way to back up your data is via the Ethernet. If there is a terabyte or even petabytes of data need to be backed up every day, it might be unavailable if the internet bandwidth is not enough. Thus, it leads to another concern that it's not wise to back up all the data to the cloud. If you upload your data to the cloud but you want to use it, you have to download the data from the host site, which is a slow process. The second problem is a security issue. It's not new that the data safe in the cloud are prone to hacks. So security problem is also a headache. Here, we summarize some of the questions need to be considered while choosing a cloud as the backup target. First, which data should I backup to the cloud and keep at the local site? Should it be all or just some of them? Second, if it's just some of them, what's the standard to define cloud backup data and local data for frequent access? And the third, is there a security and best ROI solution out there as well? Infotrend Eon Store GS Unified Storage plus Eon Cloud feature is the solution for the problem that we just mentioned. It supports both block and file level protocols, which means there is no need to change the existing IT environment. Just simply add the Eon Store GS and set the GS connected to the cloud and deploy. For block and file level protocols, Eon Cloud support different cloud cache and backup policy for flexible backup plan. It also support deduplication and compression feature to save the bandwidth when uploading or downloading data to and from the cloud. Eon Cloud also supports a large capacity backup solution with a maximum cloud storage capacity of 2 petabytes and millions of the cloud files. Combined with SSL TLS encryption solution, it ensures the data security transmission between on-premise and the cloud provider. In here, let's discuss Eon Cloud Gateway's backup policy for block-level mode. To simultaneously achieve the backup and fluent data access from the cloud, we recommend using the cache mode. This mode allows keeping the hot data at a high-performance local-size cloud gateway storage and that all of the data is kept on the cloud. If you are more concerned about backing up the same amount of data between local and the cloud side, full cache mode is your option. And finally, if you want to save the additional occupied capacity on cloud for hot data, you can utilize the tier mode to only keep the cold data on the cloud and hot data on high-performance local size cloud gateway storage. These three different policies provide a flexible backup option on different considerations. While moving to the file level environment for complete backup solution, we have think mode to keep all data on local site storage and cloud. And with the cache mode, there's a total of seven different cache policies to let the administrator decide which files they want to keep in the local site and in the cloud, categorized by data access frequency, file type, or the keyword included in the file name. The cache mode is not only for backup, 
but it also allows different sites of GS storage to connect to the same cloud at the same time. When one of the sites uploads the file by a certain catch policy, one or more sites of the storage automatically keep the file at their site based on the site's cache policy to achieve the convenient file sharing solution. After we introduce you the back of the option that InfoTrend offers, let us sum up the services support per tier by looking at this table. The backup software and block labels local and remote replication can achieve tier 1 RTO and RPO backup solution, while other servers achieve the tier 2 RTO and RPO backup solution. As we've already discussed InfoTrend backup options, this chapter provides an overview about the recommended backup services for different general enterprise IT applications like database, surveillance, virtualization, and more. We will start from database application. In this database topology, it includes several servers with DBMS and the database management software to build their database structure. Usually, companies that use the database system, such as financial institution, or renting certain data services to their end customers, require Tier 1 RTO and RPO backup solution. The best solution will be using backup software to backup their data from the production storage and the backup storage. The backup server with the installed backup software connects to both production storage and backup storage, and does the backup procedure to achieve shorter RTO and RPO backup solution. Also, this backup procedure maintains the consistency of the database structure between production and the backup storage. When it comes to the surveillance application, especially for government surveillance, the project topology usually requires a large number of the CCTV cameras connect with block-level protocol like iSCSI. For SMB or small scale of the surveillance like retailers, they use the file-level Ethernet plus NVR solution to save costs, and the overall performance requirement is relatively low compared to our other application. It will be easier to do a synchronous backup. For a block level surveillance application, it usually requires Tier 1 RTO and RPO backup solution since the frame drop due to the system failure is not acceptable. All surveillance services must be brought back alive in a short time. As for the file level surveillance application, it usually requires the Tier 2 RTO and RPO backup solution due to the budget constraints. For the government surveillance project, InfoTrend Synchronous Remote Replication plus Auto Long Mapping feature meets the Tier 1 RTO and RPO requirement. For the file level NVR application, it supports Tier 2 RTO and RPO backup solution with Rthink feature. The next application we will explain is virtualization. The general topology is the administrator creates several virtual machines on a server and connects this machine to the storage. For this case, we will recommend using two solutions that we've mentioned, synchronous remote replication plus auto long mapping and backup software solution. Or combine InfoTrain remote replication with the virtualization platform provider disaster recovery feature like VMware SRM, Site Recovery Manager. The topology of the virtualization with the backup software is very similar with the database one. For the detailed information about InfoTrend Storage Integrate VMware SRM solution, please refer the hyperlink of the application note about VMware best practice. InfoTrend Eon Cloud for Cloud Backup can also combine with Microsoft Data Protection Manager to backup the snapshot from DPM server to both local storage and cloud to achieve double layer protection. In this part, let's discuss how to combine InfoTrain storage and data service to build up the 3 to one backup architecture. For this architecture, InfoTrain can create three different copies of data. Data 1 is for local replication snapshot, Data 2 is for remote replication for remote site, and the final one, Data 3, is for Eon Cloud for cloud backup. These three different copies of the data are kept in two different storage media, InfoTrend Physical Storage and the Cloud Provider. 
backup files are also kept at the remote site and cloud to fulfill one. The backup site is saved at the off site. In conclusion, we can tell you about the benefits of the InfoChain system for backup solutions and why customers chose our systems. First, InfoChain provides a complete backup plan. Our system support from Tier 1 to Tier 3 RTO and RPO backup requirements and 3 to 1 backup architecture as well. Second, InfoTrend backup plan is integrated with enterprise IT environment such as surveillance, virtualization, database, and hybrid cloud. We hope that you learn about InfoTrend solutions for backup. Thank you very much and we hope to see you in the next discussion.